Spain is becoming an increasingly popular destination for Jewish tourists. Some wanting to rediscover their historic Sephardic roots, others simply wanting to enjoy the sun and the country's gastronomic culture, which plays a huge role in the Spanish experience. So what exactly is the cuisine on offer here for Jewish visitors? This summer, the south of Spain saw record highs in tourist numbers, thanks in large part to foreigners in search of sun, culture and good food. Spanish cuisine is well known around the world for its seafood, meats and cheese, though many of their popular cuts are pork-based. So apart from going vegetarian, it would seem there was little choice for Jewish visitors on the lookout for a more kosher diet. Though thanks to special efforts in Spain to rediscover the country's Sephardic history, many traditional Additional restaurants have opened up across Andalusia. When any visitor comes to Spain, they want to live an experience and they want to, in some ways, like to go back to, to that golden age uh, of uh, Sephardic Spanish Judaism in the Middle Ages in Spain. They want to experience it in all sense, also in, the, in cooking. It's true that it's not easy to find restaurants dedicated to Spanish Jewish cooking. That's true. Kosher and non-kosher is not easy. But at the same time, I will say that Spanish cooking in general is so influenced by Jewish cooking that in some ways it's easy to taste that food of the Spanish Jews. Casa Mazal in Córdoba is one example of a restaurant offering typical dishes without being strictly kosher. Cuisine of this restaurant keeps to traditional Sephardic Jewish cuisine and will stick to the roots of those dishes while modernizing their presentation. Same methods, fish still have scales, the milk we use is soy, and we also use only vegetable oil, no meat fats. The Sephardi really liked eggplant. The dish is very slow cooked, using eggplant, onions, spices, and then blended. The spicy rice with chicken, where the chicken is slow cooked beforehand, and we finish with a grape bacalao, where the fish is grilled, then steamed. <laughs> Beachside, there's less choice in the way of traditional cooking and limited kosher options, which is why this summer floods of calls have landed at this deli in Malaga, who've been taking orders from hotels on the Costa del Sol and the rest of Spain for kosher cooking, in addition to weekly demand from Spanish residents for Shabbat lunch. There's been an increase in the number of orders for Shabbat, for fresh meat and for our products. There are more and more kosher hotels here in Spain and they look to us too. There's been such high interest that Benjamin is looking to plug a gap in the market for more kosher restaurants in the south of Spain to cater to a growing appreciation for Spanish food culture and is even in the early stages of developing a kosher version of one of Spain's most popular pork staples. We're trying to develop a kosher product to export abroad, which is typically Spanish chorizo, which you can find anywhere. With increased levels of tourism, the demand is rising for both kosher and non-kosher Sephardic Jewish cuisine, and businesses are finding there's plenty more opportunities to provide that supply. Much to the delight of Spain's domestic Jewish community, who find there's much more on offer today than ever before. Sandra Gatman for JN1 in Malaga, Spain.